Okay, lastly, I said in the beginning of the video, there's some things to remember. All right, if we're going to do penetration testing or vulnerability scanning within our environment, we need to make sure we obtain consent. All right, that's very, very important. It doesn't matter how well intentioned you are, if you're sitting in a corporate environment and you do not have authorization ahead of time, you don't have consent, and you start vulnerability scanning or trying to penetration test, even if you're doing it with the best intention and you want to show your bosses or you know whatever department within the company, hey, here's some vulnerabilities I found for you guys. What do you say? Thank you. How about a raise? They're not going to give you a raise. They're probably going to give you a pink slip, right? So it's very important to have that consent in writing that the people that need to know about this ahead of time know about it. So vulnerability scanning or pen testing, as I mentioned, without consent, that's really considered an attack because from the other side of the coin, if you think about it, they don't know where that's coming from. They didn't authorize it. It's not warranted. It's not wanted. If that comes in, it hits their, their servers and it brings down a network. It brings down a service or an application. That could be loss of time, effort, money to that company. All right, so it's grounds for dismissal. Also, review company guidelines and the rules of engagement. So whether you're an internal employee or you're being brought in as an outside contractor, right, maybe a professional services engagement or what have you, make sure you understand that specific company guidelines because every company is different, right? Every company is going to have a different level of what's acceptable. So you have to make sure you're working within the parameters of that specific organization. Okay, lastly, make sure when you bring in an outside contractor or even an internal employee for that matter, we want to make sure we identify and assess that tester's skills and background. All right, verify and obtain references when possible. That tester could potentially have access to sensitive corporate data. Penetration testing, security in general is a very hot field right now. So there are a lot of people that are getting into it. Just because someone claims to be a pen tester doesn't necessarily mean that they are. Or they may have some basic level of skill. But if they don't know what they're doing and don't really understand the ramifications of what they do, they could severely impact negatively the environment, right? If they kick off some type of detailed scan or deep scan, it could do a lot of damage or at least raise a lot of bells and alarms within different areas of the company. And if they do things incorrectly, it could take down a file server or an application server, all of which, again, creates havoc and costs you know, that company time, money, resources, and so forth. So we want to make sure we really identify these people ahead of time, vet them, so to speak, so we understand their level of expertise.